Not long. The transformation is imminent. Granny, please don't leave, okay? You're all I have left. Please. Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a wonderful life. My only regret is having to leave you behind. Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady like yourself needs lots of good food to grow big and strong. Promise Granny you'll take good care of yourself when I'm gone. Are you serious? <laughs> I promise, Granny. I'll do whatever you say. Good girl. Good girl. Girl, don't worry. It's not goodbye forever. Granny's gonna become the most formidable crane in all of Mount Outsung. Granny will train day and night. I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes, we'll be able to live together again. You and I. How's that sound? Well. Uh. a good girl even though we won't see each other for a little while as long as we both work hard we're sure to meet again someday Granny, I promise, and I'll wait for you, no matter how long it takes. I'll wait for you to come back. Wow. Guys, <laughs> I don't know if I can move forward. I don't, I don't know if I can go on. Did you see Ethan's face? That's a good girl. Then Granny really has no more regrets. I'm so sorry, Master. Thank you. For everything.
just like that. It's gone. Why? Why? <laughs> Wheel first. Why? Why? Why do you have to do this? Heal you. Let her be. At her age, crying is a natural, if not fitting, response to such an event. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. Wow, wow, wow. You know, that sentence sometimes there's scarcely a better visual to wash with all stress and misery. You do not. Do not say that. Do not say that. Now that the issue has been resolved, you should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. believed we would see each other again that our days of separation would finally end and all my troubles would be behind me Stay this way forever. <laughs> A nightmare. Curious. If you relaxed, shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? It was a good dream. It's just. You weren't ready to wake up. <laughs> Who's talking? <laughs> Simplification. <laughs> oh. 
eloquent as one may be, words of comfort are not one's strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one is always here for you. After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. Um, I can get trouble from that. words. Talking to you, Paimon had a dream about eating grilled chicken drumsticks, that's all. M Madam Adeptus? Oh, sure you, you're awake. How do you feel? I... I feel... A little better. Thanks. I know I'll see Granny again someday. 
so I don't feel so sad anymore. Madam Adeptus, could I uh, ask you something? Would you take me in as a disciple? Oh, and have you reasons for this sudden interest? I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it. But without that mistake, I would have never been born. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. So, I thought maybe one day... I could become a cool adeptus like you, and help a whole bunch of people, just like Granny wanted to do. Upon some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. The fact that you undies blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. No, uh, I mean... Master. Uh, you are you sure about this? Paimon's gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they pretty much eat nothing but bitter herbs like Chin Chin and Violet Grass. If you join them, you'll never enjoy One Min Restaurant's delicious cooking ever again! <sighs> How utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, One's dietary proclivities are quite irrelevant. Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here now, is she? <laughs> why? Paimon, why are you being so, <laughs> so salty about it? Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. That is precisely why one plans to relocate to Liyue Harbor. Shu Yu shall have the honor of becoming one's first disciple in the human world. Whoa! You're leaving Mel outside? That's why you two drawn the human form. One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's residence. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. Yet in the end, all of one's disciples ended up in Liyue Harbor. Gan Yu, Shen He, Yuan Dai. They all chose a life among the mortal world. One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. <sighs> One could hardly offer an opinion on the matter, but perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. Why are you all so silent? Paimon is... Uh, just a bit shocked, that's all. So, does this mean we can grab a meal together in Liyue Harbor sometime? One has precious little time to squander. However, 
If one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one would not be opposed to the idea. One will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. Yeah, well. You do not make that easy, Zhang Yun. Remember that time in the Yilong Wars? Where you boasted the fact that your badge, where you, well, where you transported all of your, uh, Sandalo T, oh, and bot says half off. Yeah, the band that made that you made float. Yeah, yeah, that's not not easy. Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. So, uh, when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Harbor. Mm -hmm. One has already picked out a handsome property near Chihu Rock. Tis no small purchase, but what is mortal life if not one expense after another? Like you've really thought of everything. <laughs> then how about we meet up in Liyue Harbor in two days? A sensible plan. See you then. Oh, also, why don't you take this suspense somnia mechanism as a souvenir? Anytime you should feel ill at ease in the future. You may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its melodies. It might help you find a new perspective. Awesome! Thanks, Cloud Retainer! Hey, didn't we promise Shincho that we'd tell him what we found out? Should we make a trip to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It's totally up to you. On you. So, about your move to Liyue Harbor, you gonna tell the other Adepti about it? I have left an explanatory note in my abode. Those two old fossils will discover it, I am sure, should they come seeking my company. Considering their recent pension for going off on private escapades, however, I find myself caring little for how they shall receive this news. Hm. Is it okay if we tell him the full story? Sure. I don't think Granny would mind. As long as you don't tell a whole bunch of people. I don't think she'd want too many people to know. They might go to Mount Outsong and start bugging her about it. Granny needs to focus on her training, you know? But telling a friend or two is probably fine. No worries! Our friend can keep a secret! Me. Oh, a chain of, of furniture? There it is. Defense Somnium Mechanism. Complex and intricate depth mechanism created by the hand of the hand of Cloud Retainer that chin miraculously soothed the mind, ate with sleep, health of those afflicted with amnesia. Else, however, the creator said, 
We adapt types and only help those who first resolve to help themselves. Although adaptable genes are truly wondrous, they are not omnipotent. Wish to realize your dream must ultimately rely upon your defatigable. Right. So, go to Robert. 